Uh, Coach, obviously not the results you wanted over the weekend. You did make the playoffs um, because of other results. Mm. So it is in some sense mission accomplished. What are you doing to make sure that the team gets back on track so that they can provide the type of soccer that you want for the playoffs? Yeah, first of all, it was also different uh, emotions uh, at this weekend. Uh, for sure, we were very disappointed about the game, about uh, the results especially, and uh, uh, on the other side, and also that we were satisfied with the qualification for the playoffs. And when we see the big picture, this was good, but uh, more the emotions, to be honest, for the last game. And uh, we had a lot of individual talks, me as a head coach yesterday, with all players, individual talks, and this was that was uh, great talks, great conversation, very open about the game, about the behavior, about uh, the preparation of the game, what happened during the game, wh what is now the feeling, and this is necessary also, first of all, to have this open communication with all players, and then uh, for sure the, the training session will be not the highest load now in the, in the next days, and then to show the reaction, our quality, and, uh, and uh, what the supporters said. Um, after the game, that we were not good enough in this game, I agree 100%, but we are good enough to show reaction, we are good enough also to show our quality and uh, um, to fight, to fight, to fight, to fight for three points. Right. Coach, uh, mm -hmm. after last game, you said that Emil Forsberg, he, you guys followed the plan, he got 25 to 30 minutes mm -hmm. uh, as a sub. With this being a short week, and you just saying that's not going to be a you know a large workload in this uh, you know this training session coming up. Do you mm. think fans should be expecting more of the same from that, or do you think that he might be ready to take another step mm. and go a little longer? Yeah, I'm sure that he can make a, a next step. Um, we will see how long that uh, will be for the next game, but I'm sure um, we can handle it uh, his load and also. But we have also to be careful because on Saturday is the next game, um, but it could be that he is able to play a uh, longer time. Anthony? So some of the mistakes that happened in the game over the weekend, we, we know that the style is very intense and the season is long. It, it, is there something to the fact that there is some exhaustion in the team or that there's some mental fatigue in the team to explain a little bit of what happened over the weekend and, and how can you get uh -huh. them then to become refreshed in time for the playoffs? Yeah, what I said, um, I would say during the game, for sure, when you make uh, such big individual mistakes like uh, like the first two goals and uh, then you come back with a great mentality and then you concede with 10 players then the, the third goal and I think this was then uh, for us the situation then uh, in, this, in this situation then to come back again, this was very difficult and for sure from the mental side, um, it seems then for, for a young team, for, 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 for our young team that we had not the best reaction for these mistakes, for sure not. And uh, and this was the reason now also, and not to, to react now after the game or on Sunday, very emotional, very angry with the team, how can happen these mistakes, in my opinion and also in my experience, that is the wrong way. Because we know that we make mistakes all together and it's not the only the situation of Danny Edelman, it's not only the pass from uh, Carlos Coronel or something, this is all together. and. Uh, and then it's the best way to communicate. It's the best way to communicate with all players, to have the single conversation, to know about his feeling. And then, for sure then, to have a team meeting and uh, to come all together and then to prepare the next game, because the next game is on Wednesday. And this is then also very good in our life, in sports, that you have very quick now. And you don't have to wait one week. You have now um, the next, uh, in, in 40, in, I don't know, in. 50, uh, 56 hours could be, uh, 60 hours, I don't know. So it's the next game and this is the big opportunity. And now it's important also not to think about, for sure we want to win and to, for our feeling, for our supporters, for the whole club, for sure. But now to think about, to create many victories in the game, during the game. So in, in duels, in, in sprints, in passing, this is now, this is now necessary, important to create our, our picture and another picture for sure difference to the to the last game um, against New York City. Mark? Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Uh, Coach, obviously, as you said, it's it's a positive thing to have to get back on the field quickly and show mm. uh, the value and, and be able to prove it on the field. You've had some interesting performances against Toronto, mm. uh, dominating them at home, and then during the League's Cup, r- really kind of a strange match. It didn't kind of go your way. What what stands out for you as you get ready on a, a short turnaround to face Toronto FC? Yeah, for sure. And uh, for sure, we need also these two games for our preparation against uh, Toronto, but uh, they had uh, in the last couple of games, uh, the, the Canadian Final Cup, then uh, Chicago game, a lot of games also during the week. And they had also a lot of rotations in their starting lineup. And uh, But we need as well our two games. We need another games uh, to prepare our team now in, in the best mood, in the best way for, for Wednesday. Joe Fantorno on Zoom. Hey, Sandra, I just wanted to go back to Emil Forsberg there for a second. Do you foresee um, a future where he would be able to give you guys a full 90 come playoff time? Thanks. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. And this is what we have to build up now. And But uh, it's also important not to think now uh, when his first game now in the starting lineup, OK, Emil Forsberg will solve now any situation in our defense, any situation in our offense. Th- that's too easy. And it's also not... His own responsibility is the responsibility for for me as a head coach, for the whole team on the field, and uh, that we don't have these thoughts. And uh, but I'm sure when we when we can build up him uh, with more minutes, with more training session, team training session, I'm sure that he can also that he's then also in this season uh, and then also in the playoffs able to play 90 minutes. Dan Feuerstein on Zoom. Good afternoon, Sandra. I hope you're doing well. If I can ask you this, um, the, I guess the only bright spot from the last match was Dante Von Zier scoring uh, the goal to make it 2-1 at that particular point in time. Do you feel now that he's now back to where he should be and he could go on a run here for you guys and leading into the playoffs? Yeah, yeah, Daniel. I, I would say yes, because... Uh, we had also uh, a lot of talks, a lot of conversation in the in the cup in the last couple of weeks, and uh, his reaction uh, is is, uh, is very good. Um, after he was, I don't know, two three times on the bench, and this is then also necessary to have these competitions on each position, and uh, we have this competition now uh, with uh, Louis Morgan, then uh, Julian Hall, 16 years old, Corey, Ellie, Dante now, and uh, it's good to see this reaction. It's good then also that he scored for the whole team, and uh, this is what we need at the end for sure, for, for the strikers to have this behavior um, in, in, in situations, in, in, in special moments, then also to able to score. Put a mic on there. Coach. Yeah. Just because you asked, uh, it was 94 to 96 hours between games. Uh, that's mm. what you guys are working with right now. Uh, if you Your calculator is very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys have two games this week, and then you have a week of training before uh, going to, before hosting Columbus on Decision Day. Mm. Uh, just what does that mean to you that you can get your business done this week, and then you can get all your attention on that last day of the season? Like You can focus on... How much you can do with the team, like in these next two games, mm. and then with the final game of the season, with how important that could be, with how important it might not be. Mm. Like, how critical is that for mm. you? Yeah, in my mind, this is, is also for sure. We have to think about the the uh, the main part is the Wednesday game against uh, Toronto. Then to think about the okay, case Saturday on turf in in Atlanta. So, but uh, these are the main focus now. Not to think about now the training session next week in this national break or then Columbus, the decision day. So, I would say, especially after the last game, to be honest, is uh, to show another face, to show a reaction, and uh, and then uh, this is the main part and the main focus for Wednesday. And the training session could be not the highest load now in this week because of these um, game, two games, both games on Wednesday and Saturday, and this is the uh, main focus now. Mm-hmm. We'll go to Gary on Zoom. Coach, not to bring back uh, what you said previously, uh, based on what we've seen uh, from Twitter and everything else, uh, people, many fans voicing their opinions about the team. Just want to know if the players were aware of 
how much of a debacle it was on that game. And then moving forward, they want to be able to see a much better performance uh, for a team that a lot of people believe are much better than what you, than what happened on Saturday. For sure, everyone. And we can also understand that people are angry and disappointed in this derby when we lost uh, 5-1. And this is, this is normal. And this is then also necessary to have this, uh, to have this atmosphere, to be honest. And this is, uh, this is uh, nothing special for me. And, uh, but on the other side, and this is also very clear uh, with the young team, with, with our identity, with our philosophy, um, to make uh, the turnaround It always that we we need all together. This is this is clear. It's not, uh, and it, it, that is also important for for our team. It's not the a single player can make a turnaround or something like that. All together, and I'm sure. To be honest, I'm sure that all our supporters they have also then the same feeling when we are coming in the in the next uh, home game in our stadium that they have also the same feeling. Okay, we have to support our team because this is our and we were also very successful. And that we are not good enough because I, I, I heard about this also and, it's, and, I, and I read it in the stadium, that's clear. So, and that's true, we were not good enough at, on, on this day, but it doesn't mean that we are not good enough for the and we were not good in and, and we have the qualification for the playoffs because we deserved it as well because we played a lot of games very well. We missed some, some wins uh, after, after missing chances and we played too much draws for sure. And what I can say is, so I can understand, I agree, and also the whole team. They can understand it also to, when we have this atmosphere after the game. That's normal. But now, clear direction to the next opportunity on Wednesday. And I'm sure then also our supporters have a very good feeling for this big picture, especially for our young group and also for our identity. Follow-up question, if I may? For sure, Gary. For me, okay. something. Um, Because it's such a young squad, um, because you're, you know, you're a, I mean, these mistakes sometimes happen throughout the entire season. Do you feel that it's somewhat of a liability, or you're not too convinced? You've been able to straighten things out as we get closer and closer to the end of the season. Yeah, it's a long season. You know, it's a long season, and uh, and we can also hear in the press conference to talk about very open for sure after the after the the break. We we, we didn't come in the flow like before. By starting mid-season and the last win is Cincinnati and then some injuries, national break, we didn't come in our rhythm with the whole team, some player, we missed some players, then some draws, um, too many draws in these situations and for sure that that is something then also in, 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 a, in a mindset for, 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 young for young people, for young players, for the young group and this is but at the end we can change it. No one, no one can change. We can change it with our daily work, with our atmosphere in the building, with our atmosphere on the on the training pitch, and also on match day. So no one can change it. We can change it on the field. And I'm sure when we are make the first step with the whole group, and I'm sure our supporters will be with us. And especially, and this is a big chance. And I agree with the young group. You, it's, it's sometimes it's normal. It's human to make these mistakes. But at the end, it's also a big challenge and a big opportunity for, for everyone, individual, to make a big step, so to come all together and to have, to have this turnaround. This is big, and this is then the opposite to see this, this big chance. And we can talk a lot, we can talk a lot about what was the last game, the last game. I agree everything, but um, we, we used the time yesterday to talk a lot about that. Now it's also done. Um, The next situation, the next pass, the next duel is on, on Wednesday evening against Toronto. Speaking of Toronto, we have Brendan Dunlap. Hey, Coach. Thanks so much for letting me in on the call. I'm doing the home radio broadcast. So uh, going to your point about not being good enough and not performing to a level, uh, Toronto FC have certainly been that. They've got some very dangerous pieces in Bernadeschi and Insigne who haven't played to the level that those fans have wanted either. In preparing your team for... Uh, a game like that and a team that uh, knows they're not playing at the level and uh, playing at home in a, in a must-win game for them. Just what makes things a little different about having this match at this point in the season and it being their penultimate game? Kind of what 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 are you expecting from from Toronto? Yeah, for Toronto. It is. I think uh, they have now 37 points. I think 37, 38, and 37 points. Uh, two games um, to go in this week, our game, and then I think on Saturday the home game against Inter Miami. So the situation is clear. They have to win. We want to win, and we have also to win for ourselves. So, but uh, 
it doesn't change you now something in our preparation or, or something like that or in our how we analyze we played two times against them they have two times different structures against us in the first game in the league was with three center backs uh, most of the time Bernadeschi as a right wing back and to, to swim sometimes in this position and um, in the league's cup was more 4-4-2 with Insigne as a striker, so this is our preparation, especially what I said at the beginning of the pre uh, press conference also, to prepare um, all the other games in the last weeks. But nothing changed now um, for our preparation because of the situation of Toronto. It's more something changed in our preparation because of our last game, I would say. Last two, we'll go Anthony in the room first. So, um, Coach, there, there's a big old clutter of players that are now healthy in the midfield. You know, obviously Carvalho coming in, Doncourt, now Forsberg, Stroud. How can you fit all of these players onto the field at any given point to make sure that they are giving yeah. you what you need as you approach the players? Very good question. And I, I, I'm, I'm convinced about we need this competition. And I said this uh, the whole season. I, I got sometimes the question about uh, some players, single player. And we need this competition, and uh, so and we have on six position very good players, and now we have uh, uh, three games in, in in this week, and we need this competition, and we need this. But at the end, we need every player, and we showed this. We need every. We had a lot of injuries, and if you see now, for example, our back four center backs, full backs. So in this situation, this position, it's very clear. Our tenth position was most of the time very clear, but now. To, to, to come back now with Emil, it's very good, especially with his quality, with his leadership is very good. So, and this is what we need. We need this competition. Also for the players, it's important. And I had very good conversations yesterday, and this is also good for the players. And they told us as well, that's good that to have these competition, this pressure also when it's come from inside. And, and this, is, this is what we need. So, and, and my responsibility is to make the decision, to explain the decision to the guys. And this is, this is the, in this case, we have a clear communication. And then we need every player, and all these guys know this in the locker room, on the training field, on match day. They, they, they feel it as well. We need every player to be successful. Last question from Christian on Zoom. Good afternoon, Coach. Um, after the match uh, against NYCFC, it was said that NYCFC played to the Rebel style, kind of giving them a taste of the uh, Rebels medicine. Would you, uh, how does that game prepare you uh, when you're facing other teams that are playing the same way um, against the Rebels? And do yeah, you but, see any changes? Yeah. In, yeah. Yeah. I would say we have a lot of teams and I, I don't want to talk now. This is our, this is the Red Bull style for all other teams. Uh, I would say uh, most of the teams, to be honest, they want to play intensive and uh, and uh, they pressed also in some moments in a higher position in New York City. And uh, but this is not now. I'm afraid about that. Or oh, other teams they are playing now the Red Bull system. It's, it's, uh, we have our clear idea, and uh, we have our clear idea in all clubs from uh, of Red Bull. And uh, and we can handle these situations better when when especially the last game when New York City pressed in some moments higher. But it was not now the highest pressing. From from the opponent, why we made these mistakes? We played backwards, so and uh, and I don't want to talk about the only about Carlos Coronel to be honest, because we have a uh, couple seconds before the situation where we can play forward, and this was, and then we play backwards, and and this was the the main part in this game. Then a little bit afraid of the situation, we struggle in, in a lot of moments. We play backwards, backwards, and the second goal that was uh, we we had our situation. Uh, we can we can have the next cross from the right side. We play back and then back. But this, t t for me, this was not now because of Red Bull style or, or something like that. This was a, a mistake, and and that can happen. And uh, it was bad for us that these mistakes happen in a game, especially uh, in a derby game.